So today I'm working on a PC 20-7 Komatsu and this seal is bad so I, uh, I said well geez why don't I make a video about this. So what we're doing is we're breaking, I, I pulled the pin here left it all hooked up even the hoses because there's no really need for me to do a lot of surgery there we just got to worry about this end so I just pull this pin and now I am breaking the the seal I had to use a pipe and the pipe wrench to break it they're on there super tight and what I'm going to do is take this off here pull this out and at the inside of this there's some is on the on the hydraulic cylinder there's some seals in the very back they're they're going to need to be changed along with this one the weep is coming right from here so the cleaning seal and the internal seals right here are all bad but i'm going to replace them all since you got it apart do it even if those look like they're brand new change them it's really that simple because they're worn you just can't see it microscopically worn so anyhow this is how you do it. We'll get to it. Yep, so we we, we got that off. Uh, there's the packing seals inside, if you can see. I had to use, uh, wrap a chain around and a come along to something fixed to pull this out. She was not going to come out by arm strength. So there's, uh, packing seals are good on the back, but we're still going to change them. And then when we take this off, there's a probably a good size nut that's going to have to be broke. And sometimes I will just repin it here or put it in a vise. Repin it with this. Put your pin right back in it. Flop that over and try to turn that nut that's going to be on, or the yep, the nut um, that'll be on there. So more to come. So I. I've taken this ram out, I've pinned it right here so I can loosen the big nut on the back and I've already loosened it, I should have filmed it, but that's what you do. You don't have to, if you try to put it in a vise or whatever, it's going to move on you downward and upward and we'll go from there. Okay, so now I got it in a vise. And we're going to take this nut off, then we're going to take these seals out, and then we'll move these seals out and replace every single seal that you have. All of them. Okay? We'll do it step by step. Okay, so now we, we took the, the big bolt off, nut off, and now we're going to just slide this off, and we'll start taking apart these seals. I'm going to take them apart nice and easy and I'm going to save them just so I know what they look like when I order the next have to order the next round. Okay there's that. This guy slides right up and does his thing nice and easy. Okay now it's wise to you know um, take pictures of the way this goes together and I've done that just so I know that this goes on this way and of course I can review this video and I know that this goes this way otherwise you could be guessing and put it on backwards so word to the wise take pictures but I've checked over the seals and they look, you know, really good. The externals look really good. There is a burr right here where my thumb is that would have to be ground down. That could be a problem, but the seals themselves don't look like any fluid could get by them. But as we look on the internals, they're compromised, they're worn. And this part here, do you see the damaged seal, the big blowout right there? That's where all the fluid's coming out of. So we definitely got to replace these, but since you have it apart, just replace it. Since you bought the seal kit right there, you got the seals, replace it. 
So if you're wondering how to get the seal kits out, you can buy these. They look like dentist tool picks. I got mine cheap at Arbor, Arbor Freight. Uh, they do everything I want them to do. You buy a whole kit for, um, like, I don't know, there's like ten of them for six bucks or whatever. So anyhow, that's how you do it. So I've put it back together, pinned it. Uh, it's time for the real test, but normally that seal would be dripping. There ain't a drip coming out of it. Replaced all those seals, tightened that down really well, pinned it, bolted it. We're good to go. I hope this helps.